Hi everybody, Mike from Fisher MN here. It's Friday night and I'm doing what I do most Friday nights and some Saturday nights and sometimes a little bit on Sunday. I'm editing some fishing videos. This week I thought I'd talk to you about what kind of camera angles to use when you're making a fishing video. After we talk about what kinds of angles you might want to use, I'm going to show you a do-it-yourself mount for your hat. Because you know what? It's really easy to get that camera up there. So my big thing on my channel is I love to highlight the fight of the fish. And to me, it's just amazing because when you're in the middle of fighting a fish, you're kind of worried about is the line tight? Um, where's the fish going? How am I going to net it? So I've always just kind of liked the, the slow motion jumps and all that kind of stuff. And I think in order to get that, you need to have some really good camera angles. So I decided to compare my favorite camera angle, which would be the hat mount, to two other popular angles I see on YouTube. And that's the chest mount, and then what I would call the parrot mount, where you have one above your shoulder, or maybe even a little higher and in back of you. So we're gonna start in Grand Rapids. I was on one of my favorite lakes, and I caught a nice bass, and here's what it looked like in the chest cam, and then on the head cam. There we go. That guy came all the way out of the water for it. Oof. All right. Our first fish. Nice. It's got to be pushing three and a half pounds. Check them out. A good first fish. Look at that guy. Aggressive. He smashed it. All right, we'll put him on the scale. Three pounds. Thirteen ounces. Close to four pounder. All right, back he goes. There we go. That guy came all the way out of the water for it. All right, our first fish, nice. It's gotta be pushing three and a half pounds. A good first fish, look at that guy, aggressive. He smashed it. Three pounds, 13 ounces. Wow, close to four pounder. All right, back he goes. Awesome. So it's so interesting to me that a lot of the more popular channels, um, people are still wearing the chest cameras where you have your hands in the way and you lose a little bit of the, the fish if it's going this way or this way because your chest can only move so far. So I'm interested, maybe it's a comfort thing, maybe it's you don't have a mount for the hat. So whatever it is, it seems like 
watching somebody reel a fish to me isn't too exciting. But when you have the hat mount, as the fisherman, you are watching where that fish is going and wherever your head is moving, the camera is following. Um, but I just feel like if you're really into getting good footage of the fish, that's where it's at. All right, on this next trip, I've had a really good stretch of catching some nice smallies. So I set up the parrot cam right up here, right next to me, and then I had my head mount on. Now the cameras are pretty well equal as far as height, and for those of you who do use the camera behind you, sometimes it's even higher so you get a little bit more of a perspective. Um, but you'll see what happens when things kind of take some twists and turns as I hook the fish by a log. So here are those two videos. They're just not easy to get in. That was pretty cool. It took it right, uh, right off the bank. Right as that rock. Oh, Terminator. Alright, how about that one? Touch a 19 and a half. Beautiful smallmouth bass. Another 19 and a half inch smallmouth bass. Beautiful fish. Here we go again on our logs. It's a nice smolly too. I don't know if we need them under or over. There we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, these fish are just not easy to get in. That was pretty cool. It took it right, uh, right off the bank. Right as that frog slid in. This big old smolly just Inhaled it. All right, how about that one? Let's put them on the board. Nineteen and a half. 
There we go. Just touching 19 and a half. That's another beautiful smallmouth bass. So now a couple of things I do like about the parrot mount. Um, you can kind of highlight the fish and hold it up to the camera. You can even kind of hold it up so you're in the frame with the fish. Um, but you lost a lot of the fight and the footage as I was kind of twisting and turning to try to um, get that fish out of the logs. The hat cam was able to follow it. And I will say, I, I'm not a super fan of just holding it up for your hat. Um, so I do use a front camera. If you watch my videos, you see a lot of times I'll have a shot of the fish so you can kind of see how big it is with the front camera. So looking at it, there's no wrong way to shoot a fishing video. I just want to say that. Um, but I think when you're thinking about the fight and capturing those moments of that fish fighting, the hat cam's the way to go. You might be saying to yourself, oh my gosh, I need a hat mount, but I don't have a hat mount. Help me out. Well, let's make one. All right, so here's Old Faithful. This hat has been through the ringer. Looks pretty nasty right now, but this has been kind of my go-to hat. Um, I have two that I usually use, and uh, it's been my go-to hat for a couple of summers. Um, and it's, I guess it's time to change. It's an old uh, Costa Del Mar hat. And uh, when you're looking at a hat, just find one that has a, a nice sturdy brim. Um, it is kind of nice to be able to adjust it too. Um, and when you think about it, uh, if you catch a big fish, sometimes you'll switch and you'll put your hat on that you're wearing that day. It doesn't need to be the best looking hat. But anyhow, I was looking for one of these mounts and they sold one on Amazon um, that had like the hat included but I didn't like the hat and then they sold just this part. It's actually a tripod mount with a quarter inch thread in it and the nice thing about this one like I say it's kind of nasty it's getting a little rusty in there is it has a kind of a washer like a lock washer in it and so it really kind of dug in to the hat as you can see and it made for a very secure mount. Um, so you just put it on and you got it. Well, I went on Amazon and for about $5, you can get a four pack of these tripod mounts. And then most people have a bunch of screws sitting around home, but if you don't, you can go down to Home Depot and buy a quarter inch thread um, screw. Uh, what I did was I cut these off so that they're the right length. Um, if you were to get them, I don't know, is that like a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch or something is all you need because you need it to fit securely into the brim of the hat. And then um, a washer on the bottom just kind of helps to um, disperse some of that pressure that the screw is putting on and it holds it in place really nice. So I don't even have a lock washer or anything on this one. Um, I picked out a nice sturdy hat from my favorite place, Thousand Lakes Sporting Goods in Grand Rapids. And you gotta drill a hole. Or as I did, I didn't have my tools handy, I, I made a hole. And it's gotta be able to fit the, um, the screw through it. So pretty easy, like I said. So you're gonna take the washer and the screw, put it through. And then you're gonna take the tripod GoPro mount and you're going to screw it right on and once you get it pretty tight you're going to have it uh, facing so it's leaning back and then I always just uh, tighten that screw once you have it lined up straight in the front. I've never had a problem with these coming loose um, and my other hat doesn't have a lock washer on or, or anything. And there you go, you have a nice secure mount. Mount it as far back on the hat as you can because the further forward it is, the more bounce you're going to get when your camera's mounted to it. So that's it. That's your hat mount. 
once you get this on your hat, you're going to be getting great footage. Um, it's a matter of just maybe being comfortable with wearing it. I've, I've been wearing one for four years now, so it's like second nature to me. Regardless of what mount you're using for um, making your fishing videos, thank you. It's so amazing to watch all the great videos on YouTube. Um, also, the, all the do-it-yourself things that people can do. I'll be interested to see what you think. Put your comments down below. Um, what do you think? What angle did you like best with the videos? What do you think about the hat mount? And if you have any questions, I've been filming for about four years and I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have. And I'm always looking for tips myself. So if you see something in my videos that you think could be a little better, absolutely let me know. Something that would really help me out is please hit that subscribe button. You might even want to turn on the notification bell so you know when some Fisher MN videos are coming out. Either way, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.